Army officials and other dignitaries joined Arlington National Cemetery staff on Wednesday, November 30th, to break ground on a new columbarium, which will extend the cemetery's ability to continue honoring the nation's heroes. The ceremony marked the starting point on physical construction of columbarium number 9, which are 540 feet long, 116 feet wide, and in some spots 11 feet tall, will provide more than 20,000 new niche spaces. At the pace that we've been currently uh, uh, performing funerals, it's uh, imperative that uh, this niche columbarium, this columbarium number nine, be built. At more than twice the size of the existing facilities, the new columbarium will allow the cemetery to continue to honor our honorably discharged military for many years to come. We are going to the, extend the life of our inurement space to 2024. Oversight of the $12.9 million project is being provided by the Norfolk District U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, which according to the cemetery officials is managing the project with dignity and respect. You can feel the fact that they know it's an honor to be here, to be able to be part of the solution. Construction is expected to last for 18 months and according to Congressman Rob Whitman, marks another point of reference in the nation's history for honoring its military. Today is another great chapter in the legacy of providing for the honor, respect and dignity of our fallen heroes and their loved ones. The columbarium allows a wider array of people to be inurned at the cemetery, which includes U.S. citizens that served for an allied nation, commissioned officers in the U.S. Public Health Services, as well as others. A full list of who is eligible can be obtained from the cemetery's website at www.arlingtoncemetery.mil. From Arlington National Cemetery, Patrick Bloodgood, Washington.